hi guys and welcome back to my channel i'm still going through quarantine or oh, quarantine how are you about it but anywho uh, let's get into this video clean my daughter's face i use umbrella's the lay one because she's got um she's got adolescent skin shall we say then i mattified her brows with a little bit of chamomile lotion and then i went in with um Anastasia Beverly Hills in granite and then in the front I went in with dark brown um, both Anastasia Beverly Hills the dip brows basically and so I'm just shaping her brows um, my hand is going to be in her face quite a lot my apologies from now I really need to learn how to position my position position Eesh. the English cry has been quarantined as well what is going on um, I need to learn how to position myself um, properly when I'm doing her makeup or doing anyone's makeup really. Seems I can do it in the studio. I don't know what's the difference because I feel like I'm doing the same thing but it is what it is. Anywho, so yeah I'm just still um, shaping her brows and then before I put the clean up her brows with her concealer which I used um, Juvia's Place. I put on the P. Louise um, eyeshadow base because I want it to get a bit tacky before I actually position, uh, put it in place or um, yeah, put it in place basically. Then I went in with a closer shade to her complexion in the front and the tail of the brow. Um, and um, who did I learn that from? I think I learned that from the Beautician Chic because it just allows there to be more less of a um less of a what do you call it a separation between the the eyelash the eyelid color and the eye that i know what i'm talking about it just looks more gradient let's put it that way you know that's my favorite word already i don't usually go over the top of the brows but i did today because i had some on my hands and so that's what I did and then I blended it out and then I blended out the P. Louise eyeshadow base properly and then I went in initially with Juvia's Place cho the chocolate palette for her transitional colour um, and then I went in with an orange the orangey colour from that colour between orange and brown sorry I should put the names in and then I went in with a darker brown um, let me not lie there's a bit of this that I had to cut out because initially I wanted it just to be a matte look and I just did not like the way it looked so basically at this point I'd already done her eyeshadow I didn't like it so I cleaned it off and I started again but because I've done the two things the two I've done the two I put um, the same two shades first and then I just went in with the nude palette from Juvia's Place instead and I used the shimmery colour, light colour from that palette instead Then I went back in with the chocolate palette, the darker colours to um, give her, her more definitions and the outer V of her eyes then I um, lined her lids with the NYX liquid liner and then I don't know why I decided to use Maybelline 380. I realised it was a little bit too dark for my baby. And I tried to use a little bit of the um, Estee Lauder. But it still looks really dark. I don't like it. It blends in with her neck anyway. So it's okay. But I just thought I went a bit too dark. And then I used... What did I use? I think I used a Juvia's Place um, concealer because I felt, like like I said, because I felt her foundation was too dark. So I went a little bit lighter with her concealer. And then I, I blended everything in place. Cleaned up the wing line. And I then set everything in place. And usually I wouldn't necessarily use uh, Laura Mercier translucent on her. I'd use my um, terracotta shades. But because, as I said, it was a bit light for her, I thought I had to. Then I went under her eyes with the, the um, ColourPop Blue. I can't remember. It's a gel, 
gel pad, gel, um, it's in a little gel tub, I forgot what it's called, I'll put it in the description box, then I used a little bit of uh, the uh, Juvia's Place highlighter from the, one of the, their blusher palettes, I have to put it in the description box, then I outlined her lips with my Wet n Wild lip light, oh well it's a brow liner but I use it for everything. So that's what I'm doing there. Then she just wanted lip gloss. So initially, after doing that, I just put a little bit of um, a lip gloss on her lips, which is going to be coming up real soon. There we go. Can't remember it. It's just like a semi clear color kind of like thing. Um, and that was it, guys. That was the finished look. We really had a lot of fun because we were. I was doing their makeup for a photo shoot. I have an apparel company called Scriptures in Pictures, and what I do is I depict inspirational and biblical scriptures into pictures, and they're available on t-shirts, mugs, hoodies, all different type of apparel products, basically. So yeah, that's her in one of our products, First John four four. Greater is he that's in you, that's in he that's in the world and um yeah i thought i'd put in a little bit of the advert that we did and we put it on tiktok as i said we're now on tiktok with my um, scriptures and pictures brand so it's scriptures and pictures uk if you want to follow us and stay home guys and be safe we also are doing a 10 percent discount on anything you buy and also i am still available for online makeup sessions as well guys take care bye